Hey, Whiskey River Weekly. It's Friday, um, and we are well into our handle drop here. Uh, 30 C's, 28 fallers, and then some 16 inch riggers handles. All hit the site yesterday. Uh, the A grade 30 C's are all spoken for. There's a bunch of B grades still available. And just a reminder, our B grades are not to like tutor on horn, but our B grades are way higher quality than you're gonna find anywhere else. Um, as a handle buyer myself, uh, who's bought from other businesses, this is, we hold our A and B grade at a pretty high standard. So um, selecting for B is the, the smallest imperfection you'll see uh, throws it into a B grade. Um, the 28 Fallers is in stock in both grades right now. Here, I'll show it to you. So full two and a half inch eye right here. So you're gonna be able to fit a full size head on it and a relatively tall head. We made this uh, pretty tall. Let's see, I'll get you a measurement. So from the shoulder, the point of the shoulder is four and three quarter inch. So that's, you know, quite, quite up there. You could probably hang a pretty decent sized jersey on this. Um, but a very robust handle, like I talked about in our last video. Um, it's got good shape to it, so if you wanted to thin it down to fit your hands better, you could, uh, or you can leave it how it is. But this is a handle that's gonna be able to take some abuse. Not saying that they're unbreakable by any means, because it's still a wooden handle, but. So, uh, a couple other things. Uh, we've still got our wax canvas sale going on, and I grabbed a couple pieces for you here. So this is our Tinder roll here. It's a, it's a pouch you slide in with the end and then you can roll it up or you can um, fold it up and tie it shut, but this is good for Tinder. It's wax canvas, so obviously the Tinder will stay dry. We've got these little small pouches. They've got webbing on the back, snap on the front, and uh, these are pretty affordable right now. They're in brown and green. This is green. And then our basic halfer sack, which has a flap that then that you can put stuff in and fold it down like this. So then stuff stays in there small and then pretty large stuff. It's got a little uh, carry loop like that and then a strap. So all of our, there's other wax canvas products and those are all available on the website right now in the deal section. So check that out. Um, check out our fresh drop section as usual. We've got, I kind of got delayed a little bit. I got sick this week um, on photographs, but we are currently getting photographs done of the ax crates and it looks like this weekend we will be getting the back end stuff done for that so that a preview will be available next week for our next auction. We don't have a date picked pick for the next auction yet, but it'll be a preview for at least a week there so that you guys can check out the product and get your pre-bids in and all that. So um, stay tuned for that sometime next week. I've got, so I've got a buddy coming up this weekend and we're gonna get a bunch of stuff done, including getting all these orders packed up and shipped out. Um, we got some help coming, um, some extra help coming uh, tomorrow. So um, anybody who placed their order is gonna get, uh, probably get uh, an order confirmation, or they would have, you would have already gotten an order confirmation email, but a uh, tracking email when the label prints. So stay tuned for that in your inbox. If you haven't, and if you don't see that, check your promotions or spam folder, because sometimes Whiskey River emails go into there if you use Gmail. So. Um, but yeah, we're going to fix some drywall here, uh, in the warehouse, insulate, and then hang this last sheet. And, uh, the warehouse will be buttoned up by the end of the weekend, ready for winter, which is really exciting. Last minute, of course, but we we have a pretty decent weather weekend this, um, the next few days. So, um, I think that's pretty much it for updates. Uh, I got my skid loader fixed. That's pretty exciting. Uh, it just took a third hand to get that hydraulic hose off and then Kat made a, a new line and I slapped it on and dumped nine gallons of hydraulic oil in it. And uh, I thought I was buying an extra bucket, but it's not how it works. I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll buy a five gallon bucket and then an extra five gallon bucket and I'll be set. But that was not the case. It used all nine or used nine gallons. So I got a gallon extra. Um, so anyway, rambling on. Uh, thank you for the support with this handle drop. Thank you for 
the excitement around the 28C, uh, I got confirmation that that is getting started this following week. So we should be seeing, it's usually between when it starts to in production to um, when they're actually on the site is right around 15 to 20 days. So we're looking at the next month, we should be seeing the 28Cs. And there's gonna be some tweaking involved. Like I showed in the, the, the long handle video, if, and if you haven't checked that out from last week, go back and check that out. It's like 10 minutes-ish of me talking about our axe handles and then kind of where it's going and talks about the 28C, but that 28 has got an oversized eye and it's a little bit bigger than I would like. So I'm gonna be getting the pattern back and we're gonna be tuning up that eye, getting it dialed in to the point where it's dead on with um, what we need. So very similar to how the 30C is. Everybody seems to be happy with the 30C. Some people complain there's too much wood on the 30C, but those are folks that are trying to hang boys axes on it. And yes, it would take a decent amount of stock uh, material removal in order to get to uh, to that like small of an eye. But for folks that are doing jerseys and tazzies and connies, perfect axe, perfect axe handle. And we've really dialed in the, the shape of that eye. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited. The 19C hopefully will be coming soon after, if not at the same time as the 28C. And then, um, I've got, I've got, um, a couple other handles, um, that we're going to be working on the first quarter of the year getting out. And I'm not going to talk about them yet. I'm not going to talk about them because I talked about the 28C too early with that pattern and it was a disaster, uh, getting that pattern made. It just, I just get my, my butt kicked on it. So, um, but yeah, keep your eyes open for that. Um, I'll be doing another handle update video once I get uh, finished uh, on some of these other patterns and start getting those dialed in. So anyway, happy Friday. Be safe this weekend. Um, have fun. I know it's the last of, uh, you know, especially for us Northern, Northern folks, this is one of the last nice weekends before uh, it's, it's frozen. So um, yeah, get out in the woods and uh, enjoy yourself. Be good, guys.